Curtis Ortega, our librarian who's teaching the study skills course, Ms. Jackson, the computer and business teacher, Ms. Sue White, the math council teacher, and uh, these are all seventh graders with the exception of the older students who will be demonstrating the skill in math and the computer. All right, let's welcome them. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning. Thank you very much for affording us an opportunity to share with you a few of the exciting things that we're doing in education here at Jefferson. Ms. White tells me you ask about Math Counts. Math Counts is an accelerated coaching program combined with a series of written and oral competitions held at the local, state, regional, and national level covers a wide variety of math topics, including some concepts that are taught in college level courses. The students compete both as individuals and on a team basis. Robert Hogan's, who will begin the eighth grade here at Jefferson next month, and Warren Tilden, who will begin the ninth grade here at Jefferson next month, will describe two applications of two different math concepts. If I may direct your attention to the board just to your left here, we'll ask Robert if he will uh, describe the first of the two problems that we have here. Robert? Oh, well, the first problem is that, oh, stand up. In a class of 25 students, there are 15 girls and 10 boys. Five boys and seven girls are athletes. Two boys and six girls are math majors. Six boys and 11 girls are taking courses in computer science and technology. The problem is, if 12 students are chosen at random from this class, how many of those selected would you expect to be? A, girl athletes, B, enrolled in computer science and technology, and C, math majors. Well, since we have 25 students and we have 12 picks for girl athletes out of, for each, since we have 12 picks and for every pick there's the probability of picking a girl athlete would be um, 7 25ths. We multiply 12 times 7 25ths and it equals 3 and 9 25ths, which we round off to be 3. So, well, the answer for A is three. And for B, there are 17 students enrolled in computer and science and technology. And since there are 12 picks, we multiply 12 times 7 25ths, which equals eight and 4 25ths, which we round off to eight. So B is, the answer is eight. And for math majors, the answer would be three because 12 times eight 25ths equals three. And 21 to 26. Thank you. Thank you very much, Robert. <laughs> and Warren, the marketing department of the XYZ company asked 115 persons to test taste three types of, of cookies A, tasty treat, B, crunchy chew, chew, C, raisin delight. 30 like A only. 13 like A and B, 25 like A and C, 18 like B and C, 7 like C only, 3 like all three, none like none of them. If the company will only market those cookies like by at least 40% of those surveyed, which cookies will the XYZ company market? Okay, we have a Van diagram here showing the number of people who like different kinds of cookies. And we see that the number of people liking Tasty Treat, which is A, is 71 people. And that's clearly over 40% of people. Uh, and B only has only 34 people like B. And so that's not over 40%. And so they will be out of it. And C, is 53 of uh, 53 of the persons of the person surveyed like C, and so that's over 40 percent. So A and C would be the cookies that were marketed. 
Thank you very much. If I confess to you how far I was behind both of you in these examples, you'd know why we've got a budget deficit. <laughs> well, that was great. Really. Well, thank you. We're very pleased to have had this opportunity, and we thank you for coming and sharing this experience with us. Well, I'm pleased to be here, and really, I mean, this was quite an experience quite a mathematics example, and I feel a little humbled. <laughs> but Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. Very well. Thank you.
That's not a prescription for gloom. Far from it.